Hey there, Naga. You asked about the materials I used for the drawing I sent you. This is the Rotring Art Pen. I've been using it now for about, oh, 10, 12 years or more. It comes in extra fine, fine, medium, and bold tips. It's cartridge fed. Cartridges I buy in a 10 pack, either online or at the local art store, wherever I can find them. But I don't buy them from Amazon because they're very expensive. Usually I pay about a buck a piece for them. Well, I don't know, maybe it's 75 cents. I don't know. This pen, actually, I have to say, I remember now that I've been using these pens since the 90s. They are superior pens. I really recommend them. The flow is very smooth, very workable, and actually has really um, inspired me a lot, just the feel of it. That's the Rotring Art Pen, available online. Costs about 20 bucks a piece. The colors, I bought these in Germany, but they're available everywhere, I think. It's Pelican. These are opaque watercolors, but they're also available in translucent. They're very cool. I love them. The little trays come out. They're refillable. Got two levels. And it comes with these water cups, which are how the whole thing stays together. Close it like that. I recommend it. That's for these drawings. Okay, the one I showed you, the one I sent you. The colors are very brilliant. As far as the paper is concerned, <clears throat> this comes, I buy this in a roll of, I think, 10 yards. It's Strathmore 440 watercolor paper. I buy it and I cut it up into all different shapes and sizes. And uh, basically, uh, these are the materials that I use, that I used for the drawing that you asked about. That drawing, by the way, was done uh, when I was living in a basement apartment after I'd had this really bad accident and I couldn't move and I was feeling pretty low. That was about four years ago, I think. 2016. Okay, if you need any other help or advice or whatever, give me a shout. Talk to you later. Bye.